into the table and into the boat. Another classic situation, at least for me. I don't like, I mean, I love jigging for walleyes. Uh, slow trolling and some of the other things, okay, fine, especially if we're talking big fish. But if I'm just going for an afternoon, like the situation right here, most of the time I'm going to look for a weed bed or a rock bar, classic shallow structure, and I'm going to fish it as efficiently as I can. And it's going to work all the better, of course, if you've got a dark day like this. The fish will stay up longer. There we go. As I was saying, it's going to work a little better if you've got a classic dark day like right now. Fish are going to stay up and shallower, push up shallower, and hold up higher in the weeds for just a little longer during the day. We'll put him back right away. And we'll have a look at the lure that I really like for this situation, and that is the X wrap shad. And of course, the, the classic shad wrap itself has, has been a dynamite walleye bait for almost 15, 20 years now. And the X wrap shad just adds to the equation because you can cast farther. Uh, you've got a beautiful finish on it. It makes some noise, which I like in weed beds, especially when I've got fish that are up high in the weeds. Always some walleyes in the weeds all year long. There we are. That fish, as is actually quite often the case in weeds, followed it right up and hit it close to the boat. There we are. Pounded it good. Pretty, huh? He might even be dinner tonight. Well, we'll see. I'll measure him here. Here we are. No, not even close. 20 inches. All right, lucky guy. Got to be 18 here to be able to keep him. And, you know, people are going to always ask, first question a lot of times is about color. And I typically start the equation in one of three ways. Uh, except when I'm in perch water. And they have this yellow perch pattern, the Rapala does, and it is one of the hottest patterns. And they've got it in a variety of different lures, but that's a great one to begin with. Silver minnow's good, uh, gold minnow's good. You can always experiment with those two. Throw in this one right here, um, and you're about set to go. Uh, now what you're gonna have on a lot of different days, you can keep fishing the crankbait as long as it keeps working. But a lot of times as the day goes on, uh, say you start early in the morning and it gets to be 9, 10 o'clock, the fish are going to drop down farther. I'm going to go to swim baits. There we go. Come on, let's see. Get the net. There we go. Now that was on the flat back shad. As I've said, and as you've been watching the program over the years, I've got tons of walleyes on that flat back shad. There you got a good look at it right there. And conditions are changing, as you said. You know, you start out early in the morning, you're going to catch some fish up high on the crankbaits. And then as the day moves on, you need to dig down a little deeper. We're going to have to probably look for the edges now. And if the sun keeps coming out like this, you know, the fishing might actually die. But typically, you can still go in the weeds and scratch a few on the flat back shad. All right, let me quick, very quickly show you how to rig this. There we go. Flat back shad right there. Jig head. This is an owner, three quarter ounce head. That's typically what you're going to be using in the weeds. That seems a little bit heavy to most people, but that's the, that's the program. And then just simply straight down through. Twister on. You're running straight like that, that's all there's to it. So once it's rigged like this, one of the hot things, of course, is that it's very, very effective in weeds. You can work it through weeds, you can pop it through a lot of stuff, and that's one of the things that makes it so very effective. Yeah, there we go. We'll see what we got here. That's a nice walleye. There we go. Come here. He was right on the edge 
of the weed bed. Beautiful fish again on the flat back shad.